Good morning, Treasureland. It's Melanie, back with week five of our Songs and Psalms series. I decided to change up the venue a little bit to make it a little more interesting. So, I want you to grab your Bibles and your notebooks, and we are going to get started. Today we are reading out of Psalm chapter 32, verses 8 through 11. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. Do not be like the senseless horse or mule that needs a bit and bridle to keep it under control. Many sorrows come to the wicked, but unfailing love surrounds those who trust the Lord. So rejoice in the Lord and be glad, all you who obey him. Shout for joy, all you whose hearts are pure. We just read the passage, Psalm 32, verses 8 through 11. Now, I want you to go back to that first verse, because in that verse, it actually shows us one of God's promises to us. I want you to think about it. What would that promise be? If you said his promise to guide us, you would be correct. God has made a promise to guide all of us in our walks of life. When we obey him, and we trust him and have faith in him, he leads us down the right path. I would not even be at Hillcrest this year if I hadn't trusted him and obeyed him. Isn't that crazy? I wouldn't even be here making this video right now. God has promised all of us that he will guide us. Now this week, we are sticking with the theme of songs and psalm, and we're gonna listen to a song. You can listen with your family, with your parents or grandparents. The song we're listening to this week is Waymaker. Now you might have heard this song on a Sunday morning. It's one of my favorites right now, and Carlo has sang it before, but I am gonna read some lyrics, and we're gonna talk about it. So in this song, it says, that God is a way maker, a miracle worker, promise keeper, and light in the darkness. Now, promise keeper is a really big title. I know I haven't kept every single promise I've said, like when my mom tells me to clean my room and I promise her I will do it. Yeah, I don't think I've kept every promise, but God does. He keeps the promises that he makes to us. All of them, isn't that crazy? But the last line in this song is light in the darkness. Now there's a verse in the Bible that has light in it and him guiding us down a path. Can anyone think of that? I think it's in Psalm 119, verse 105. And this verse says, your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. So this song has it all. God really is a light in the darkness and he leads us on his path for us. He guides us with the light. Even in darkness, there will always be a light to our feet. I think that is so, so crazy. I want you to remember it this week that even in darkness and even when things are looking a little glum, God is always with us, always guiding us, and he always keeps his promises. I'm going to close us in prayer and then we're going to be done. Lord Jesus, I just pray that this week we would really remember that you are a promise keeper, a miracle worker, that you make the way when it seems like there's no other way. And that you are a light in the darkness. I would pray that we'd be following that light on our path and trusting in you. I pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen.